Hello friends, this video on body movements part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Human Body Movements, Joints, wherein we will discuss ball and socket joint, hinge joint, pivotal joint, fixed joint, skeletal system, bones, cartilage, muscles, movement in other animals like earthworm, snail, cockroach, fish, birds and snake. So what comes to your mind when you think of body movements? Now it is very important to know why we are studying about movements. Movement is the freedom to move. You can run from one place to another, you can jump from one place to another. So that involves a lot of movements. Now, when you have to move, say, from your house to your school, your hands need to move, your legs need to move, if you are going by walk. Even if you are traveling in a bicycle, again, your hands and your legs need to move accordingly. If you are traveling by a car, so let's say that, okay, you are driving the car again, there has to be some movements. If you are just sitting in the car, in that case, yes, not a lot of movements really. So, uh, when we think of movement, you can think of a lot of activities which involves movement of your hands, fingers, legs, uh, waist, neck. There are different parts of our body which allows movement. When you, when you are doing skipping, when you are writing, so your fingers need to move, your hand needs to move. You are working on computers, you are cooking or you are dancing. So in any of these activities, walking, running, jogging, exercising, dancing, playing, cooking, anything, all activities would need some sort of movement. At least some part of your body needs to move. Now the question is, what is movement? How do we define movement? Now, with the examples that I mentioned in the previous slide, I am sure that you would have understood that movement would involve something moving from one place to another. So, it is the act of moving. So, anything which is moving. So, let's say you were at point A at a certain point of time and now you are at point B. That means you have moved. So, that's movement. Let's say your finger was at a particular point at one time. The next moment it is at other point. So your finger has moved. So anything which has actually moved that exhibits movement. So it is change in position or posture. Now when we say position, maybe an object moving from one place to another. Now that object not necessarily has to be you as an organism. It could be your finger moving from one place to another. So that's movement. Or it could be a change in posture. For example, you are standing at the same position. So you are not moving anywhere. But let's say you are just moving your neck from one side to another. So what's happening? Your neck is moving. So your posture is changing every time your neck moves. So that is also an example of movement. So when we talk about movement, the best example you can think of is walking or running. Now there is another term which sounds very similar to movement but it is not exactly similar to movement and that is locomotion. What is locomotion? So locomotion is also movement causing a change of place that is the object moves from one location to another and when we talk about locomotion we talk about movement of an entire organism. So this is important. Now why I am talking about this is a lot of times people think that movement and locomotion, they are the same thing, but they are not the same thing. So movement could be that you are standing at one position, but you are moving your hands or you are moving your fingers, you are moving your neck. So they are all movements. But when you are walking and you are moving from one place to another, that is locomotion because the entire organism, that is the entire you have changed position from one place to another. So that is locomotion. So let's talk about plants, just an example. So in case of plants, do you see plants moving from one place to another? Can it move from your garden to your neighbor's garden? No, not really. So plants do not look 
move do not show locomotion they do not move from one place to another but certain parts of the plants definitely show movement so let's think of touch me not plant or the chewy mui plant the moment you touch the leaves they tend to show movement they tend to cripple so that's an example of movement so that that is how movement and locomotion are different from each other so in this case the person is moving from let's say point a to point b so he is changing his position from one place to another so this is an example of locomotion so let us quickly look at the differences between movement and locomotion so when we talk about locomotion it is change in location so that the entire organism is moving from one place to another but movement is change in position so you might be at the same location but some of your body parts are moving so that's movement so locomotion is the movement of the organism as a whole so the entire organism the entire person is moving it is not only about movement of human beings any any organism so when the entire bird moves from one place to another that is locomotion but when it comes to movement it is about specific parts of the organism's body is moving for example the wings are moving the legs are moving the neck is moving so they are all examples of movement all locomotions are movements but all movements are not locomotion so that's because when you talk about locomotion so when an organism moves from one place to another let's say when you are walking from your house to your school so when, while you are walking so that is locomotion definitely because your location is changing but at the same time your hands are moving your legs are moving so movements are also happening so every locomotion is a movement because movements are happening only then locomotion can happen but all movements are not locomotion because you might stand at one place and you can move your hands and legs so in that case your location is not changing so basically that is not locomotion but that is movement so this is very important that all locomotions are movements but all movements are not locomotions so when you take examples of locomotion it could be running climbing swimming walking when you think of movement it could be moving your limbs moving your hands legs fingers moving your jaws while chewing things moving your tongue so these are all examples of movement because there you are not moving as a whole only a part of your body is moving so when you think of this example of two people dancing so when they dance they tend to move from one place to another so that is locomotion but at the same time their body parts are moving so that's example of movement now instead of moving from one place to another if they stand at one place and just keep moving their hands so that's example of movement thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again